Welcome back to the Fanboy Cantina. In this video, we are talking about the HasLab Star Wars Reva Force FX Elite lightsaber. The latest Star Wars HasLab was announced at Star Wars Celebration at the Hasbro panel on May 27th of 2022. After the panel, it was displayed at the Hasbro booth. The lightsaber is based on Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi currently airing on Disney+. I think this is the single most expensive Hasbro item based on a Star Wars Disney Plus series. This type of lightsaber was first introduced in Star Wars Rebels and now features prominently in Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. HasLab is the crowdfunding platform for Hasbro and it's allowed for the production of some high-end exclusive items. But in order for that item to be produced, it needs to reach a certain minimum threshold of backers. So things like the Star Wars Katana and the Razor Crest were able to make it through, though unfortunately the Black Series Rancor failed to reach the minimum threshold. The Riva lightsaber is incredibly long. It is more than six feet long. Unlike other double-sided lightsabers that have been produced by Hasbro, like the Darth Maul or Saj Ventress lightsabers, this is a fully integrated experience. So a more sophisticated, more coordinated experience between the two blades of the lightsaber. The lightsaber hilt can be configured to show the full circle design or the half circle design. The hilt itself looks very well detailed. There was a prototype version on display at the booth. It looks really, really nice. The lightsaber includes a display stand, so you can display it with the blades attached, though that assumes you've got counter space for six and a half feet of lightsaber. It looks like it includes uh, these plugs so that you can display it without the blades attached. The lightsaber can be used with both blades or a single blade. Effects and sounds can make a lightsaber all the more satisfying. This one doesn't disappoint. You got the progressive ignition, blast deflection, battle sequence mode, wall cutting effect, and dual effects. This is taken from the Hasbro booth. It's a little hard to hear because of the background noise. So among those clips, you've heard some of the background commentary from people visiting the booth. One person was explaining what is HasLab, and another one asking the question I think many people are asking, is it worth $500? For more information, visit HasbroPulse.com and click on the HasLab link. The Star Wars The Black Series Reva Force FX Elite lightsaber is priced at $499.99. Again, it needs to reach 5,000 backers by July 11th of 2022 in order for it to be produced. It is expected to ship in the fall of 2023. So post in the comments, what do you think of the latest Star Wars HasLab? Is this something that you're going to want to add to your collection? Do you think it's worth $500? Do you think it's going to reach that $5,000? minimum threshold. The campaign launched after the announcement at Star Wars Celebration and this is the number of backers within minutes after that announcement. At the time of this video it's at about 15% of the way towards that 5,000 threshold. As for whether this is worth $500 we'd like to hear from you on that. In context the Obi-Wan 
Force Effects Elite lightsaber that was recently announced is priced at nearly $280. So this one being priced at $500 with the two blades, you know, it allows for some context around the numbers, though obviously it is quite pricey. If you're looking for Hasbro or other kid-friendly options, there is this Inquisitor lightsaber produced several years ago, though it's very expensive on eBay. This other set, this Blade Builder set, you can get this off of uh, Amazon and other outlets right now. Great for kids. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Fanboy Cantina. May the Force be with you, always.